Final Fantasy 15, you and a few other people got the chance to play it, the preview build, which was pretty massive from my understanding, but you specifically played 15 hours, like the first five chapters, like uh, walk us through what you got the chance to check out. Uh, yeah, so it was the first five chapters, which technically is about like, give or take around 12-ish hours, okay. uh, but like I spent a few hours doing a lot of like side content. Uh, so yeah, it just starts you off in the beginning of the game and uh, throws you off right into the open world, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really know the series all that well. I mean, I know it like in passing enough to like understand why it's important and why people love it. But correct me if I'm wrong. This is the first like truly open world Final Fantasy. Is that incorrect or is that misleading? Uh, it depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Okay. Like it, I mean, you probably from what I understand, you can't just go anywhere from the start. Yeah, but that's it's, true. But yeah. it's big, like, in the way that the MMOs are big, right? Like, mm -hmm. if you're strong enough, if you have the abilities, you can get there. So, okay. Yeah. But you, you did say, like, pretty soon after you started, you were in, like, just an open world, right? Yeah, that's what's different, uh, I want to say, compared to a lot of the other previous Final Fantasies that have had similar sort of qualities to it. Um, the, you're literally thrown into the open world uh, within the first 10 minutes, which, you know, what's Final Fantasy thirteen? that took well over like 20 or so hours or so. Jeez. I mean, like 30, 40, I don't even know. But <laughs> that's, a, that's a long <laughs> intro. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, I think that's sort of the most distinct quality of it. Um, Did it feel like there's a lot to do or was it kind of, you, I remember you, I read your preview, we were editing it and you said there's a lot of fetch quests. Did it, was there a lot of uh, substance to the quests you were doing or was it just kind of running around, fetching things for people, getting tasks done? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, you do, there are a lot of side quests that emerge besides sort of the main stuff that you get to do. Mm -hmm. um, most of those, they do follow a very standard fetch quest format, sometimes a little too much, where it's like, hey, go to point A, get this thing, go to point B, give it to that person, and then go back to point, uh, point A to, in order to complete the quest. And some some of the some quests don't really add that much in terms to the overall sort of context of the conflict that takes place in the game. Uh, so it can be a little um, like it doesn't really feel like um, there's not a ton of substance to everything. Yeah, a ton of substance. Sure, so to say. Yeah. Can you walk me through the world itself? It's such a weird. I mean, I know Final Fantasy always kind of does this, but there's a, it's like this weird amalgamation of like magic and weird like highway fantasy and reality. Highway sixty nine <laughs> diners and cars and boys in leather. I don't know sixty nine diners and boys in leather. What is highway going on sixty sixty six? <laughs> yeah, 66, I know. is that the one? Yeah, Six, <laughs> it's Route sixty six. Sorry, there you go. Mine's man. in the gutter. Uh, Jesus, I um, love the sixty nine diner as much as the next bloke. So so how does, how does this world feel to you, Matt, to avoid Pete's conversation? <laughs> <laughs> um, as you said, there's a lot of, I guess the way to describe it, it's very uh, inspired by sort of Americana kind of, like, you know, having a lot of sort of these pit stop areas. You're on basically, the, the aesthetic of the game is very much a road trip. Um, so that's kind of what leads you, uh, leads you through the story. Um, sorry. Yeah, the world itself is like, I mean, it's a weird kind of, like you said, it's like this road trip thing. I always got like, I remember the, the first trailer is kind of like that uh, Stand By Me cover by that girl. I don't, I didn't get the, like, the aesthetic they're going for at all. Uh, I've been right. trying to pay attention to Final Fantasy 15, but it seems like they're going for so many different things. Did the world feel like connected to you? Did it feel engaging? Do you want to go back and see more of this world now that you played like 15 hours of it? Very much so. Um, that's, that's the thing. Like I really, there's a lot to do. There really is. It's a very big game. And a lot of the stuff that you get to do really emerges organically for the most part, despite some of the fetch quest nature of the side activities you get to do. But there's just so many different places to explore, a lot of activities to do besides, you know, even just fetch quests, of course. You could just like hop on a chocobo and explore, you know? And that's what I really like about the game. Um, it has a very distinct quality compared to other Final Fantasies. Yeah, like what's this, like a, for me, a good Final Fantasy game has a certain spark to it that like when you play it, you're like, yeah, this is Final Fantasy. Like no other series kind of attaches such importance to like a weird quirk. Like what is the quirk that makes this feel like legitimately Final Fantasy? Like it can't be the Chocobos. It can't be the summons. Like what is it about this RPG in particular that feels like it fits in the series, if anything, at this stage? This dinosaur ostrich he's riding? <laughs> That's a chocobo. You don't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just trolling both of you. No, I really didn't know that was a chocobo. <laughs> I'm not the best one to talk about Final Fantasy. See, that's a good question. I mean, I think what makes this game distinctly Final Fantasy, I think Final Fantasy as a series has always been 
has always challenged itself to change uh, in to, to redefine itself and uh, what it is. Either that be like, because you know, when Final Fantasy first, some of the earlier games is very more traditional fantasy setting, but then you have seven, which kind of delves a little bit more into the sort of steampunk aesthetic, sure. changing what we can expect out of Final Fantasy as a series. I think that's what 15 does again. That's what I like about it. Um, it's contemporary. Like very it, contemporary. It feels sure. like everything is just kind of modern day with, you know, a dash of magic on it. Totally, totally. It, it, it definitely asks that question of like, you know, what, what can a Final Fantasy game be? Well, for 15, like, yeah, a Final Fantasy game can be sort of this long extended road trip that takes place on sort of a huge open world. It can be a, a, a game that does tie itself closer to reality. And I think that's what 15, I think it captures a Final Fantasy in general, this desire to kind of change things up, redefine itself throughout the years. Cool. To get into a couple specifics quick, uh, we're watching combat right now. How did that feel when you were playing? Because you said uh, in your preview you played, you had like an extensive time with that as well. Uh, combat feels great. I really like it a lot. It's okay. So it's more action focused. It's not very much. It's not like sort of a turn based um, battle system that we've seen in sort of previous games. It's like real time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But you can play by pausing it. And using you can. Menus. You can actually. Uh, I've tried out that mode a little bit because um, it, what it does is like in the, in the middle of action, if you don't move, it'll just pause the action, and you have a little time bar that moves that just basically gives you like a limited time to think it's almost like what to do next a little bit. fallout very similar actually yeah okay. um but yeah the the combat system in general is it reminds me a lot of like an action game like sort of more hardcore action game like devil may cry bayonetta okay. nor near as sort of complex as those systems uh, as demanding but uh it definitely gives you a lot of room to be stylish in your combat because you have a a lot of different weapons you can equip, different types of weapons that have their own distinct attacks that you can literally switch to on the fly as you're beating up a dude. Okay. So, but like overall in general, after 15 hours of this, you sound pretty positive on it. You sound like you want to play it again when it releases, what, November? November 30th. November 30th. Yeah, Final November. Fantasy 15, finally. I got delayed a couple times. Yeah. Uh, but you sound positive. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> I almost spit out water when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> this game has been delayed oh, yeah, yeah. for like eight years. Yeah. 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 Just a little. <laughs> well, it's been 10 years in the making now? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, overall, like, despite some of the issues I might have had with sort of the fetch quest nature of it all, uh, and even some bits with the story, uh, which I haven't really dabbled upon too much yet, but um, I am very excited to return to the world. I really want to see, because I really want to see what this game has to offer, because it's very promising. There's a lot of different things that make it so distinct of itself, uh, redefining some of the things that I've come to expect from Final Fantasy over the years that you know I just really want to dive in and see what happens. Cool. Awesome. Well, I mean, I don't really play the series, but it looks like something I might want to try out if I have time. But Pete, you're probably super excited for this. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I'm super apprehensive, but I'm but I'm excited. Yeah. Right. Well, I, the game actually opens with it's it's interesting how the game it, it opens with a message saying like a Final Fantasy for fans and first timers. So yeah. huh. it could be part of that first timer lot, man. Okay. Interesting. Uh, you know, like ideally each sequel would be for first timers as well, but yeah, that's true. Maybe they yeah. worked around this time. Cool. That is Final Fantasy 15. You can read our full preview. It's up on site. We have some video content as well, uh, both from Matt Espinelli, and uh, that releases November 30th. So tell us what you think. Are you excited for it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. 